Next, I'd like to be able to delete a product. So I'm going to go to the show page and I'm going to create a button for deleting things. I'm just going to put it in this first section up here uh, because I want that delete button to show up only if the product exists. And remember, this is only going to show up if the product has a name. And because every product has a name, if it has a name, that must mean the product exists. So whatever I have in here, this is only going to show up if the product exists. So I'll just say delete. And then I'm going to need to make a special uh, special action in my controller that lets me delete it. So I'll do pshowvm. I'll just call it delete. All right. So now I need to make this delete function that I just referenced right here. So I'm going to say whoops, vm. Delete equals product. Remove. And this should be just as simple as state params was. Uh, I'm just going to pass in state params right here. But when the product is deleted, I'm going to want to redirect to a different page. So when this is done, I need to put in some sort of a redirect right here. I don't have anything built in here yet that will let me do that. So I'm going to add in this other dependency called state. And state is something related to UI router where I can say state.go and then pass in one of these different states up here and it will take me to that state. So in this case, when I delete a product, I want to go to the product index and I want to see all the other products. So let's see, this looks fine, but it's not going to do anything yet because I don't have anything set up on the express side to receive this route. When I click the button, and let me make sure it's showing up, there it is. Uh, when I click that button, it's, well, it's actually already doing something. That's because this needs to be inside another function. Otherwise, it's just going to run all the time as soon as the page loads. There. Now it's going to run only when we click this delete button. And you can see it's throwing an error. It's throwing an error because it's sending a delete request to slash API slash products slash product two, and nothing has been set up for that yet. So that's going to be the next step. So I'm going to create a delete root. And actually, it's going to look almost exactly like this. The only difference is instead of it being a get root, it's going to be delete. Uh, and instead of just find one, it's going to find one and remove. And it's not going to return anything because we will have deleted this from the database. There's not really anything to return. So instead, I'm just going to say something like success true. So it's just going to return a little object that says success true. If I were doing some sort of error handling or wanted to show my users messages if the thing could not be deleted from the database, then this might come in handy. All right, so let's try this again. Now, if I click delete, there we go. It takes me back to all my other products, and I can happily delete my products. And if I refresh the page, I can see that they're still deleted. So now I can successfully delete a product from the database.